Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we'll draw this sum in copy ISO. First we'll mark length, width and height. So length is 96. Width is 50. And height is 54 plus 30. That is 84. We'll mark 54. And then we'll mark 30. And width is 50. So first we'll complete this box, then this height is 54, on that line you take midpoint, see this, on this line 96 you take midpoint and you take 30-30 on both the sides. And from bottom you take 15, 15. And you join this slope. After that, we need to draw this part. How much is this side? 20. So we'll mark 20. From center point you go down. And from center you can take 10-10. And again from the center you can take 2020. Then you take all these points behind by see this front portion is done. This is behind by 50. So take all the points behind by 50. So first we are trying to draw only the lower portion. So let's say from here you take 50, 50 and draw a line like this. Then you join this way. So we are done with the bottom portion. Part 1 we can say. Now we need to draw inner detail. This is going inside. Now if you see they have given 10, 30, 10. So I'll mark 10, 30, 10, 10, 30, 10. And again 10, 30 and 10. Then you join this line. And it goes inside by 5mm. See this, this is 5 mm. So you take 5 mm from here and you can draw a line. You go down by 28. Draw a line from here and you draw a line from here. So we'll get that slope and you can join this and you draw a line from here. So we'll get that part. This is that slot which we need to draw. This is 5mm.
Now the same slot is on the other side also. What I can do, I can draw it light. I can't draw full dark because I know that there is one more part. So because of that, I can't see the behind portion. So I need to draw that part very light. See this. Now we'll draw this circle. To draw this circle, we need to draw diameter 40. So again, we'll take midpoint. See, it is 96. So half of 96 would be 48. And you'll take 20, 20 on both the sides. See this, you draw a line. Now the width is 50. See this, this is midpoint. Take half of it, 25. And from the center you take 20, 20. Let me erase this behind portion. You draw a line, take midpoint, draw another line. Now you have to take diameter 40. So you take radius 20, 20, 20, 20. So take radius 20, 20. Again you draw the rhombus method. So we'll draw circle by four center method in this. This is point one, two, longest diagonal. Then from one to M, we'll join one to M and this is M. This is point three and this is point four. This is also M. So take one to M, draw arc. 2 2m draw arc 3 2m and 4 2m so basically we'll draw circle by rhombus method see 2 2m draw arc then 4 2m and 3 2m now the same circle is down also at a distance of 30 so you need to take all these points down by 30 and again you have to draw circle See it is given. So you take all this tangent. Then you take from point 1 you go down by 30. From 3 you go down by 30. And from point 4 you go down by 30. So you mark all those distance. 30, 30 down. Now you take 1 to M. Take this radius, go down by 30 and from there again you draw it. So we are drawing the bottom portion of the circle. Take 4 to M, go down by 30, again you draw the same circle, so we'll get this. 3 to M, go down by 30, again you draw arc. So we got the circular part. Now after this, so after drawing this, We'll draw tangent. Now if you see the slot which is 16. So that from center point we need to take 8 8. See this slot. After that you go down. You have to go down by how much? 20. Let me write. So this slot is how much down? 20. So take this point down by 20. This also down by 20. This is also down by 20. But this joining part won't be straight line. It will be curve. 
Why? Because we are drawing it in a circular portion. So this part will be curved. So what I need to do from point 1 and 3 I have to go 20 down. So from 1 you go down by 20, from 3 you go down by 20. So from one, this we will write as 1 dash. This we will write as 3 dash. So take the radius 1 to m. See this 1 to m. Draw arc. Go down by 20. Draw arc. Same way you take 3 to m. Go down by 20. Again you draw arc. So this is how you'll get curve. 1 to m from 1 dash and from 3 dash we will draw the respective radiuses then we will draw this line this line and the behind line so now we are done with the sum we can draw axis line origin 3030 and we need to give dimensions thank you